myself an EV, zero emissions. What? What, what is with the face? Well, zero emissions from the exhaust, yes. Yes. But? But 75% of air particulates come from brake wear, tire wear, road degradation, and road dust resuspension. What are you talking about? Well, there's emissions like CO2, climate change, huge changes in life on Earth as we know it. Bad. And then there's air pollution, which is typically measured as particulate matter per cubic meter. You might have seen this before. This floating number, yes. So this stands for particles smaller than 2.5 micrometers. And it's harmful because they penetrate deep into your lungs and into your bloodstream. Why are you saying it like that? I'm trying to make it more digestible? It's more scary. Okay, well, anyway, every time that we drive and brake, we essentially cause more abrasions on the car and the road and, you know. What does that mean? Okay, so like into thin air or thick air, which we breathe in and ends up in our soils and land and water and plants and animals that we eat and love. Uh, but, but this is all part of reducing emissions, right? No. So particulate matter is a local air pollutant, not a greenhouse gas. So it's harmful to human, plants, wildlife health, soil, water, and air. But it doesn't trap the heat in the atmosphere. That's like the main, main focus of emissions. What can we do? This one's tricky because most companies don't measure or disclose particulate matter unless they're forced to, like in steel and mining, etc. So there's no global standard for particulate matter reporting in ESG frameworks, and air quality data is typically modeled and not like actually monitored. Companies will never spend a cent on measuring anything unless it makes them money. You're you're doing the thing again. So other than driving less, is there nothing we can do? Well, as usual, read up on it. Don't trust two talking dudes who look the same on the internet. And they can share it. They could. You should. Well, you should share this. It's an important message.